This is a way of using Google Scholar effectively. Don't, Google searches everything. Google Scholar searches journals, and journals are what your teachers want to see in your papers. So don't use Google, use Google Scholar. I have done a search from home and well, on autism treatment, and I find journal articles. Number one is from a journal. Number two is open access. But as I go down the list, I see very little full text here. What I would have to do is track down where that journal was. There's a simpler way of doing that, and that is going through my library. Article databases by title and type. So in here, I just look under the G for Google Scholar, and then I log in. You will have to log in. Now, same search, and what we see in the right hand is where can I get this. This is a link to full text. There's that same PDFs we saw before, but we also see articles with where can I get this. Select where can I get this, and it shows our link to holdings. We see that we can get full text of this article from the health source. There's the full text that you can print, save, it's yours to do with as you like. And this is not only my library, this is from many other libraries. Simon Fraser University databases it has Google Scholar as a, as a database, and so does University of Toronto Libraries. In this case, they put it under Popular Databases. There it is, Google Scholar. Then you just connect to the resource. The point is, look for the list of databases by title in your library, and then look for Google Scholar. That way it links to their journals and it saves you an awful lot of time.